What's up, InnerTubes? This is a quick introduction to the PX4 Storm uh, made by Beretta compact model. This is not the subcompact. This is the new release uh, for 2011-2012 compact model. It has a 3.2 inch barrel on it and a 10 round magazine. Um, it has the barrel rotates just like it does on the full size. And I'm going to uh, first uh, just quickly point out that I have on here a Hoag hand grip, uh, which I bought. It's called the Hoag Handball, and uh, it's marketed for Glocks, but uh, it makes it much easier to grasp this, this tinier gun. Um, and I'm about 5'7", with decent-sized hands, and uh, that's perfect. Um, I'm going to show you quick differences between the compact and the full size for anybody who's curious. Uh, right off the bat you'll see full size has a 4 inch barrel, compact 3.2 inch. Um, I'll try to line that up for you so that you can tell the difference in the handle sizes of them. See that there? Um, here's another comparison. For you. This is my hand with the 10 round mag in and these full size 14 round mags also fit in. So that's the difference. That's the difference between the compact and the full size. That gap there which is about the size of the half of the pinky finger maybe. Um, if you're curious, P.S. This does not have a backstrap on it. I don't have a backstrap on it. Um, so, other differences between the two guns. Um, the compact has deeper um, grooves uh, etched into the slide uh, versus the full size. Here's the compact, and they're deeper, uh, longer, more spread out, full size. Compact, full size. Compact also has an ambidextrous um, slide lock so that you can either lock the slide or release the slide from both sides of the firearm. And uh, if you know anything about PX4s, you know that the magazine release is also um, ambidextrous as well. So you can change it so that you can release the mag from, from the side. Um, uh, PX4 Compact has more um, warnings stamped into the polymer frame. Uh, more language here. Um, this side says that there's a mag uh, or that uh, if the mag's out there might still be a bullet in there so don't point it at yourself or anybody that you love um, or anybody that you don't love. And uh, what else is different about it? The I bought this gun used. This is the full size, which I bought used. Fake bullet. I want to show you a little safety indicator. In the compact model, um, well, when there's a bullet chambered, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there. There's a little red indicator that sticks out. And uh, oh man, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyhow, it's a, it's a very low profile indicator that there's a, a bullet in there. Um, the other difference is that seems like the slide for the compact has more coating on it than the full size and why I think that is is that uh, the full size the language on it on the slide actually it's crisper it's easier to see the language on the compact is blurred out as if there's more more coating on it and I'm sure somebody knows uh, what the hell that means more than me but um, uh, it's something else you'll notice that's different um, otherwise, uh, they both look uh, like pretty good guns. 
Um, here's one other thing that's different. It's, it's kind of really interesting. This is the compact 10 round mag. This is a full size 14 round mag. One of them has an orange indicator that there's no bullets in there. And it's much easier when you are doing a slide check to see if uh, there's any bullets in there. This is the compact. Watch this. Oh, it's orange. It's safe. No bullets. And this is um, the uh, full size. Uh, there's also no bullets in there, but you can't really see that right now. Um, but if you just racked it real quick, orange, orange, safe. And here, same thing, but you can't tell as easily. And weight difference, this is going to be measured in grams. This is uh, with a, a back strap on it and a hook grip. And it's weighing in at. 786 grams with a magazine in it, and here's the full size uh, with the magazine in it, no back strap. It's weighing in at 806 grams, so um, slight difference. And also, I'll show this to you. I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, again, safety safe. This gun is is empty, um, but just as as an example of how easily concealable this this gun is this is it in my um, jeans pocket and if I were to put it down a little deeper put my shirt over it it's um, pretty easily hidden and I did some tests with uh, again just for uh, 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 practical purposes or not practical purposes but just demonstration purposes of putting it in my in my back pocket and also fits uh, pretty easily in there as well so um, that's it.